In this video lesson, we're going to learn how to do the oxidase test, a test that detects a bacterial enzyme called cytochrome C oxidase. This is a test often used to identify members of the bacterial genus Neisseria, which includes the species that cause gonorrhea and meningococcus meningitis, and also to identify uh, Pseudomonas, a glucose non-fermenting gram-negative bacillus. Today we're going to perform the oxidase test using an oxidase swab. This is manufactured by a company called Gibson, and the swab contains an oxidase reagent called TMPD. If the bacterium possesses the enzyme cytochrome C oxidase, this enzyme will oxidize the TMPD in the swab, converting it into a compound called indophenol blue, which is purple to black in color. We're going to run the oxidase test now on Pseudomonas, a glucose non-fermenting gram-negative bacillus, which is oxidase positive. So we simply remove the oxidase swab from the package, and we scrape off a little bit of bacteria, and we look for a color change on the swab within 10 seconds. And as we see here, uh, the swab is turning a dark purple to black color, indicating it's oxidase positive. Any color that develops after 60 seconds should be ignored. Now we're going to run the oxidase test on an oxidase negative bacterium, in this case Escherichia coli, one of the gram-negative glucose fermenting bacilli that belong to the bacterial family Enterobacteriaceae, almost all of which are oxidase negative. So again, we take our oxidase swab, scrape off a little bit of bacteria, and as we see, there's no color change occurring. So this organism is oxidase negative. Again, any color that appears after 60 seconds should be ignored.